is the final countdown. Five more moves. Five more. Counting them down. <laughs> and today is the longest travel day we have remaining. Okay. So this is this is the worst. It's gonna get one yet. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the worst it's going to get. This is the longest it's scheduled to be. Okay, yeah. Throw that word in. Scheduled. Scheduled. Because we've had short travel days that turned out to be long. Yeah. Yeah. And we've had days like this. Who, about four hours. Mm -hmm. Turned out you know, pretty well. It's, um, but it's almost a straight shot from here. Yeah. We're going from Elkhart down to Batesville, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Thousand Trails. Yeah. Indian Lakes. Our last thousand trails. Our final thousand trails. <laughs> Ever. Stay. Um, so yeah, about four hour trip today. Yeah. And we'll show you around the campground when we get there. How are you feeling? Like, does it feel real yet? Does it feel like we're really counting it down, really quitting? Yeah. Because it's like, like today, going to thousand trails. It, when I get there, I'm going to look around and be like, this is the last thousand trails I'm going to see. Yeah, you start doing the, I mean, <laughs> when you, st when you last, start the whatever. lifestyle, you start doing the firsts. Yeah. And now we're doing the lasts. Yeah. And so I think that as we're doing this, the last few stops, I think you take it in more. Yeah. I think you're like, all right, let me, let me take this Soak in. Soak it in. Let me enjoy what's left of this because this, this is almost, this is almost over. Uh, but it's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's not sad. It's exciting for the next chapter. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff coming up. And then after we get done the Indian Lakes, we'll be down with the Wagsters in the in the Bourbon mm -hmm. Trail. So that'll help us forget about everything. Yes. We're definitely gonna soak that in. Yes. That's gonna be a oh lot of fun God, yes. with them. But we really gotta really gotta enjoy that because uh -huh. that's our last big thing. Yeah. Because we that's have a, like our yeah farewell. It really is. We have the a couple more stops after that. One's in Knoxville, which we're gonna see some friends there. Yeah. But it's only for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and then the, if I overnight stop and then we're into alabama we're done done parked for the very last time so yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be crazy yeah all right let's get going okay <laughs> and another last for today hey how's it going how are you good another last for today is that uh it's kind of gonna be the last moderately temperature day uh we're leaving out of elkhart today it's 70 degrees this morning uh high of like 74 but once we get down to uh, the southern part of Indiana, it's going to be 80s and then into the 90s. And then I don't think it gives up. I think we're through the 90s for the rest of the rest of the summer there. So uh, a lot of lasts. We got the, uh, the truck all cleaned up yesterday and took some pictures of that and sent it out to uh, some potential buyers to see uh, what they thought about it and how much we can get for it. <clears throat> nothing will officially go on sale until we until we get to Alabama I think the video that we uh, that we put out uh, about selling the RV and truck is the day before we get to our final destination but you've probably already seen that and as this video comes out hopefully everything's already sold and we're already good to go uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated and let you know how, how that's going but we gotta get on the road now. So uh, once we get to Indian Lakes Thousand Trails, we'll show you around our spot. Well, I think this was one of the roughest travel days we've had ever. This was completely moved way out here and the slides were in. And you can see this couch was moved this way. It was diagonally into the thing. All of this stuff just completely rearranged. All this stuff with, that we normally put on here, scout stuff, was it just in the floor. All of this, stuff we have sent over here these these rails that we have completely bounced all off of there that completely bounced all off it opened his freaking habitat because it knocked his little ramp to open these the door guys. yeah the, they started Whoa, way over there the fireplace was turned on and hot and hot the uh the brush the toilet brush leslie's like we're missing the toilet brush and i had not put out this slide yet uh it was still in all the way the toilet brush let me show you where the toilet brush lives. The toilet brush lives behind the toilet. behind the toilet back here. And we jam it in there to make sure it doesn't move because one time it came all the way out down the stairs and met us at the front door. So now we jam it in there and she's like, well, where's the brush? Well, it wasn't anywhere downstairs. Nope. So I laid down on the floor and while this slide was in up behind the bed, it was like in the middle 
way back there so we had to get the broom to get in there jam it back there and pull the brush out so it wouldn't get crushed when we opened the slide so that was a rough rough travel day Ridiculous. there was one huge bump when we were going on to 465 yeah the ramp to, to turn that way and i saw it coming and i tried it to slow down literally wavy oh yeah i can't believe they get away with that road it was a black top section. patch yeah but it was wavy. and i saw it coming and i hit i hit the brakes but there was somebody behind me that i don't want to slam slam on the brakes but i got from probably 65 down to maybe 45 50 yeah 45 50 but i still hit it really really hard and that was ridiculous it probably did a lot of all of that down there but luckily indiana should be ashamed of indiana roads. should be ashamed of their roads definitely and that's one of the reasons it's one of our least favorite states because the minute we got on from elkhart it was bad yeah uh 41 was bad 465 was bad 65 is bad 65 is bad. bad everywhere yeah Every road we had to hit in Indiana today was terrible. And it was longer than normal travel day. It was uh, four hours. So, yeah. And we got extended a little bit because 465, part of 465 was closed. We got rerouted. So anyway, I'll let you do all this. And yeah. I'll get stuff set up outside. Enough all that. Yeah. And then I'll show you around at our spot. I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. got our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And our sleep has been great. Phenomenal. It's been crazy, life-changing. Sleep impacts your posture, mm -hmm. your mood, and your overall health. Yes. And when it comes to that stuff, you really don't want to rely on the plywood-like mattresses <laughs> that come in RVs when you buy your RV brand new. Yeah. So we have the Aurora Lux mm -hmm. from RV Mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature yes and we also have their cooling pillows their bamboo cotton sheets and the weighted blanket we love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom mm -hmm. and she's loving it too and she doesn't live in an rv exactly which goes to show you you don't have to live in an rv to buy an rv mattress from brooklyn bedding they're for everybody and they come in regular sizes or rv sizes an rv mattress by brooklyn bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial 10-year warranty and free shipping from their factory in Arizona. The best part of all of it is we can save you 25%. All you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. Oh. To add insult to injury today? Because I had to leave him in there longer to unscrew. Oh no, that's... He poo. That's poo. And he's... It's in his toes. It shook him up, man. It did. Normally he's out of there fast. And we knew it had been several days. And I said he will poo on travel yeah, day. It's been over a week now. But so. normally he can wait till we get into the house. But it took us so long to clean up everything inside and he get did. everything all done that he just couldn't I hold it, I guess. I'm so sorry, buddy. Now you got to get a bath, yes, too. Yes, now we're heading to the bath. Oh, God. <laughs> the hits just keep on coming. Ah. Oh, man. It also broke my tunnel cover. Let me Let me get up here. Right where this tunnel cover latches into there, it broke off one of the teeth. So that was just out there. That one's fine. Hopefully we can find just a replacement clip to go in there. Because, man, those roads were just crazy. Crazy. Not a bad sight. We got plenty of room on both sides between people. Got woods to the back. Big gravel spot. Lots of space for the truck. Extra gravel space over here. Pink table looks like we're going to get afternoon or evening shade, so that's good. And the uh, swimming pool is right there. So it's supposed to be up into the 80s and 90s while we're here, so we might get over there. Um, the only thing I didn't care for was it was a blindside back end, and you know how much I love the blindside back ends. And then the other thing is uh, the sewer hose. I don't know if you can see from here, but I'll walk up here a little bit. The sewer hose is uphill to the sewer connection, which I also hate and I don't understand why they do that um, because it makes it hard to drain and flush your tanks because it just wants to, water just wants to stay in there. So anyway, that's our spot. We got some room in the back here too. So you can see where Scout's gonna be on the back of the couch. His view is just gonna be back here. This little grassy area with some 
some trees he might get some little random squirrels or wildlife out here to see but for the most part hopefully it'll be very quiet and uh, four more four more moves but um, yeah it's just huh, I don't know what it is once you once you make the decision to to come off the road uh, those last few moves you're just like you're over it you're done and uh, but we got to get we got to get back to Alabama so we ain't got a choice we got to got to get it down there so four more moves few few hundred more miles and hopefully the roads will be a little bit better through Kentucky Tennessee and Alabama but uh, I wouldn't count on it and look at this this is where that clip broke so something on this side it hit this side of the, the truck really hard because let me open this up and show you that our diesel cap it's magnetic but it's flipped over it was it hit so hard that it knocked it out of there flipped it over and set it back down so when I opened up that's what it looked like so uh, that just tells you that's the first time that has ever happened to us on a travel day so that give you an idea of how rough the roads were today <laughs> check this out I just opened the door and I had to catch this tray that completely was down here and was falling out but then I look over here there were a few water bottles over here in the door this water bottle it flipped it completely upside down that's crazy man like how bad you gotta hit to pick this thing up and flip it upside down and jam it in there and knock the other one down and then we got other little things all over the place but yeah that is that's the worst travel day we've ever had I think yes like ever in the whole five years we've been traveling that's the worst we've had yes so I went to get a drink and that's what cabinet looks like this is the worst ever um, and this is with the sumo springs I can only imagine what this would be like if we had not had the sumo springs they would have definitely something would have definitely definitely broke Oh, we keep finding stuff. Leslie just opened this up. And that's our silverware drawer. We just got this the other night. Those don't belong there. That's my teriyaki sauce from Panda Express. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about. This chaos right here. This has never, ever happened to us before. And I would I would talk to Leslie about it normally, but she's not camera ready. Yeah. You can probably hear her. I freaking hate Indiana. Indiana's terrible. <laughs> I can't believe that this, I mean, this is extreme. That's retarded is what that is. We've never even had one spoon jump even like yeah. halfway into another rack. <laughs> no. And all suddenly we have clips in here. We have the, the knife sharpener there. We have, it looks like, <laughs> looks like somebody just threw a stack of spoons in here. That's crazy, man. I can't wait to leave this state. Yeah. We're getting ready to do the video for the uh, selling the RV. So Leslie is taking the backsplash off of there. Because you want it to look normal. I do. I know it doesn't have to come off, but it's just when I look at used things, if I'm purchasing one. I try to envision how I will do it. Yeah. And I get mentally blocked by what's already there. Yeah, that's a good point. So Some people I just, can't envision. Yeah. Even though you can say, oh, it's easy. It just peels right off. It's still, you can't envision yourself there. Yeah. So i rather it just look normal, blank canvas. Yeah. And they can envision how they're going to decorate cool. it. Cool. Yeah, we just finished up shooting the, the video about us quitting RVing, and uh, so yeah. tomorrow we're going to shoot the video about the RV being for sale, so Leslie's going to yeah. knock all this out. A couple other things, too, that we're going to normalize yeah. to make sure everything's so it just shows stock, as stock is... How you're going to get it. Exactly. You buy it. So. Yeah. Yeah. It just makes it easier to normalize it. Yep. And depersonalize it. Peel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know this video hasn't been the uh, the most exciting. It's mostly just been about us moving and all of our stuff getting rearranged on a, on a travel day. And this is our very last thousand trails stop before we come off the road. And it's very unique because there's something right at the entrance that we've never seen at any other campground before. 
and wanted to share that with you. Another thing that we've done is we've always honored a fallen hero at the end of every one of our videos. We're not going to do that today. We're going to do something a little different because of what we saw when we came into this park. They have what is called a missing man table. And at every military function that we went to, balls, galas, formal events, they have a missing man table. I'm going to show you the missing man table here at the entrance of this campground. I think every place that we see them in restaurants and stuff before, but we've never seen it at a campground before. So I'm going to show you the missing man table and I'm going to explain to you the meaning behind it. So there won't be a fallen hero today, but stick around so you can learn the meaning of this missing man table. And uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.